Okay, um, hello everyone, my name is Tsukio and I'm gonna make uh, this video all about uh, Tsuki UE uh, that I uploaded two days ago or yesterday, uh, I don't remember. Um, so first of all, um, I'm a bit, um, my voice is a bit tired from talking all day, so <coughs> my apologies for that, I hope you still can understand me clearly, otherwise just ask. Um, so one of the things uh, I got today is like a whole lot of questions um, about uh, UI and the options. Now for some people it's clear, for other people it's um, a bit less clear, um, but I'll guide you through most of the options. As you can see, this is um, gonna be one of the newer versions of the UI. It will be version 1.1. Um, what I did was I changed the action bars at the bottom, I placed the XP bar at the top, and I placed a currency frame at the left corner um, left bottom corner because it is fairly handy to have an overview of uh, the currency. Now let's start. Um, the general thing is that you import everything like set uh, in the readme file you click on the button over here and then you do import layout and then you get Tsukio at Litra, and then you import everything and then you should get a nice thing like this. Now my um, resolution is 1920 on 1080 so if your resolution is smaller than this you could need um, it could be that you need to resize everything a bit and reorder um, but yeah. Now um, I can try to make it for other resolutions in the future as well, but this I'm still testing and I'm still modifying the UI and I want to have um, it fully functional um, before I start making it for other resolutions. So uh, after you've done that and you want to configure the rest, um, then it's basically the same thing over and over and over again. Gadgets add-on is accessible by right clicking and then add the gadget and then you see all the gadgets here you can import you don't need everything but what I did is for example this one over here that I'm dragging is buff bars this one over here and I hope you can see my mouse um, it's the cost bar. The one in the middle here uh, that I'm dragging is the rate frames. Currently I have my party frames over here because I was DPS today a bit. Um, normally as a healer I put them at the bottom where my rate frames are. And then the player frame over here where you see Tsukio and then target and target of target. The right bottom thingy here, this thing, um, it's uh, your soul vitality tracker. I find that kind of handy. Um, and then at the bottom left is the currency tracker. These are all just imported gadgets, you can change that. And I will show you how. Now, one of the most important things for me as a cleric, uh -huh, <coughs> and I think for other classes as well, will be to modify the buff bars. Now. I did it like this. I only show my buffs cost and by the unit or cost by anyone else. So that's everything. But I include only healing spray, water flame, burnout. That's the only buffs I want to track for now on this buff bar thingy. Um, now it's totally up to you what you put there, but. Um, for example, say you're a mage and you want to track uh, some dots, you can add those dots all in here, press include only, add them there, and you only get those dots tracked. That's pretty handy. 
Now you can make a second or a third uh, screen like this. It just always add a new one, add new gadget and then buff bars and then you get a new one. Um, you can make one for buffs and make one for debuffs and then you can um, configure that e over here as well. Debuffs cast by player, debuffs cast by unit, debuffs cast by anyone else and you can do the same again. Include only or exclude. It's totally up to you. It's it's very simple um, and then yeah. Now one thing that people ask me is um, there is no option to say uh, to show um, debuffs that I can cure. Not directly, no. But you see here, curses, poisons, diseases and others. Now, your skill says what you can cure. In my case, cleansing prayer can cure one curse, one disease or a poison. So, I just do disease, curse or poison and I click the other off and I click modify and then you, it will show. Now, it won't show for me because I have it uh, as include only those spells. So what I could do is add gadget, new buff bar, I will remove this. So create, you have a second one you can remove all of this just gonna put it on exclude I'm not gonna show any buffs of any kind I'm just gonna do debuffs and I'm um, gonna do it like this diseases, curses and poisons click modify oh yeah and at the top it says target by the way you can change it here player, target, 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 focus, focus target and I always click on, I, I put it on player and target um, so modify and now I don't have any debuffs um, that I can show you so I'm gonna delete this one because I don't need it at this point because the reason you may have noticed is that this the player frame is different than the target frame. Reason being is on the player frame you don't have you don't show your buffs totally and uh, they are in the upper left corner. You, there's no reason that you should um, show them twice. It's just messy. Well, in my opinion, anyway, the um, buffs of your target appear under this one plus the mana appears under it more clearly and you have a more clear view of their HP and everything like that. Now this is important for PvP as well as PvE um, and yeah, the, my health is not that important. Um, well, I can see of course that I'm dying but I don't need percentages and I don't need my mana um, bar because well, I have a mana bar, but as you can see, it will go a bit here, you see. But I will really, I've never had a problem that I r uh, ran oom or anything. You can see how fast it regenerates. So yeah, maybe that changes at later levels, but I can just keep on casting. Um, uh, I don't even have uh, wisdom pots on, so and no food here. So yeah. Well, there was a little bit of lag spike there. Anyway, so here you see the symbol of the torch now. Um, so yeah, what you can do as well is um, w with those buffs you can track things like um, planner essences as well. I have a planner essence that um, gives my healing spells a ch uh, chance to uh, do an additional tw 200 healing over 8 seconds. So, and it's called glowing water droplet. It's a buff that they get then uh, on the target when I heal them um, and that shows as well. Now that that is something that I really want to show. Um, 
I'll see if I can Yeah, there you see it, globbing water droplet. The reason I want that to show is because I know then that the target will receive 200 more healing over 8 seconds, which is a fair deal, and that I can focus, uh, that I maybe can focus on another target. Um, healing is all about putting priorities, and these things help you put priorities more easily than if you need to track them at the upper left um, corner or if you need to track them all at the buff bar uh, under the target frame and everything like that. So <coughs> it's just to make things easier. Now that said, this should be enough explanation to um, configure your um, cost bars. Now currency, you can modify that. As you can see um, you have all the things here and you just drag them into these slots here at the bottom. You can do four rows and three columns like I have and I just drag them in here. The black things is where they are occupied. If I for example put lucky coins, I put them in here. Right click is modify. I put alpha 100% and I made the text screen black Okay, modify, and there we go. But I don't need it like that. Um, oh yeah, I need to do alpha 0%. Yeah, there we go. And then you see, you got your lucky coin here. It's all very easy to configure. It points itself out, and everything is the same really. So that's the way you do that. Um, what else could I show you? Um, oh yeah, I got um, a question as well um, about uh, action bars. If I change them, I didn't change anything. If you see edit layout, um, I didn't change anything. I still have all the bars. You can add more bars without a problem. And the only thing I'm having a problem with is my warfront um, warfront thingy. It's always resetting. Um, I'm not quite sure yet how I need to do that, but I might just hook it up in here. I might place it in there for now. Uh, save it. Um, it's not that important, but still, it's nice to see. Um, what else? Oh yeah, yeah, right. As you can see, I press B now, and I get the Emotar back pop up. Now, for a lot of people, they asked me, how can you do that? Because if you press B, it opens your standard packs. Now, go to macro. You just do slash macro in chat and then enter or you press escape and then take macros. And then make a macro with Immobags and then your character name. So in my case Immobags Tsukio. Then drag it to um, your action bar and bind it to the letter B. That's the normal letter for opening your bags and it will unbind your standard bags and it will bind this bag over here. So that's the fix for that. Um, was there another question? There was another, there were several questions but I think I answered most now. Um, yeah, if you have any other questions um, feel free to contact me e either by mail um, that is included in the uh, Rift UI um, page, my download page, it's in included in there somewhere, or you can contact me in game on the Galidra server, some people already did today. Um, thank you for doing that by the way, I appreciate your feedback really hard. Um, also, the, also the negative ones, if it's a normal um, normal feedback, 
negative or positive I will always appreciate it um, so yeah any questions just ask if you want any changes if you want anything included like today I got someone asking me if I could maybe include the add-on resource tracking it's for um, your gathering professions or gathering crafts um, I will take a look at it I will see if I can include it um, if it's easy configurable and if it fits my UI if I see that it makes too much of a mess then I won't include it because for me the most important thing is that you get a really nice clean UI with um, as little as possible things um, at the top of your screen I want everything at the bottom and I want most of it hidden like my action bars are mostly hidden um, this will be hidden, uh, the currency thingy is hidden in combat um, as well as when I'm in raids and stuff like that uh, so yeah that's one more option maybe that I can show you with most of the gadgets you can choose when it is visible in groups solo, party, raid uh, so yeah and then in combat opacity and out of combat opacity if you see in opacity it's not visible for me so that's that I think I um, included everything now oh yeah I did some a couple more alerts um, when you're stunned I included some debuffs already um, and when you're silenced um, I did paralyzing strike and I did blinding powder um, today the thing is that it will take me a while for to include every possible stun silence um, slow in the game as the add-on requires me to discover them first and then I still even if I discovered them um, while being in a battleground I still need to figure out what which of them <laughs> does the stun or the silence so what I'm doing currently is taking all the abilities uh, soul per soul, um, class per class, uh, and adding them like that, seeing if I discovered them and adding them. So this is going to take me a while, but it's going to be nice in the end um, that you get a big message, for example, um, when you get uh, stunned, that you get a big message like stun and with a countdown timer, how long the stun is. It's good for yeah both PvP and PvE, so yeah. Again, if you have any questions, just ask. And that was it. I hope you enjoyed UI, and see you maybe in-game. Cheers!